Gamers and game that's what is going on. My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another Skyforge video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my personal rotation guide on the Berserker. Now, um, for those who are asking and wondering about other classes, um, I'll be covering other classes as I learn them, go along and unlock them because just like everybody else, I have to grind these classes out. <laughs> so yeah, I still have a few that I'm missing, a few that I'm studying up and working on, but I figured I would start with Berserker since it is my main class. I do know this class pretty well, and um, this is going to be a bit more of an advanced guide than my original Berserker guide. I'm going to teach you guys some really interesting tips, tricks, and all that stuff in here, but we're going to start simply by just going over this class's abilities and moveset. So you have the basic stance and the gladiator stance. Gladiator stance is simple. We're going to go over that since it's the quickest. It is that same, it's that, 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 um, the one stance where you guys see the Berserker's hair go on fire, he goes into Hades mode, and he just starts cutting through enemies like butter. With Gladiator, you simply want to make sure you have your buffs on, and you're just swinging like a madman, doing as much damage as you can until Gladiator goes away. That part, simple, boom, out of the way. That's pretty self-explanatory. But we're going to talk about some of its moves, and I'm going to give you guys the details First off, we got Violent Strike. That's your typical XX, aka or square square combo. Depending on what console you're playing on, fast attack is um XY stuns your opponent. This this attack surely comes in handy in PvP. So for you guys who are you know getting smashed in PvP as a Berserker, use your fast attack. It knocks people down. They're stunned for a good couple seconds. Easy damage. Easy damage. Merciless Strike. That's the um. The third combo where you guys always see the Berserker go slash slash and leaps in the air. Pretty um self-explanatory. Activates impulse charge. Dissection. Inflicts 18.5k damage to all enemies around the Berserker. And reduces their movement speed by 90% for 8 seconds. The slowing effect decreases after 5 seconds. That can affect the Berserker. Can same be applied to the, only, to the same enemy only once every 60 seconds. Basically, you can only use dissection every minute. So it's not something you want to spam. Um, crushing Throw inflicts 48.5k damage total. Now these damage numbers are going to depend on your prestige, might level, and all that stuff. Of course, um, fourth attack in the combo restores Rage. Fracture inflicts 243,000 damage to the selected opponent in total. Consumes 165 points of Rage. Destructive Strike. This is one I want you guys to keep in. I want you guys to keep in mind. And then um, Destructive Wave. This what this does is. It increases enemy vulnerability to Berserker attacks. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. Destructive Strike is a very, very important part in your combo. And if you're not using Destructive Strike often, you are wrong. There's two things I'm going to tell you guys about Berserker. There's two things you'll, you'll want to remember. If you're not using Destructive Strike at least once every 25 or 30 seconds, you're wrong. And if your Berserker is not glowing red as much as possible, you're wrong. You're not playing your class right. Because these two moves are going to give you nearly between a 40 and 80% damage increase, depending on your critical chance and all, and all that fun stuff, for basically all your attacks. So these two moves need to be at your opener and the starter, the starter of your list. But I'll show you guys my rotations and everything in a minute. Um, thirst for Battle, this is your... This is your buff. That's where the Berserker turns red. Increases, increases your damage by 40% and your critical chance by 35% for 10 seconds. That and Destructive Strike, those things need to be combined at all, at all times. Tectonic Blast, this is another good one. It helps restore your rage. We're going to get into that later. That's a really good one for speed runs and pulling big mobs. I'm going to tell you guys why. Thundering Roar, I don't use it too much because it really only affects smaller monsters and monsters that are really like insignificant and stuff like that so me personally i don't mess with thundering roar too much it's not you're not going to see it in my rotation often but that's just me personally um i'm a lot more of a, an aggressive berserker player leap is a, um it's a good move to use but really only use this if you're stunned if you're um if you're in fear or if you just need to catch up to the group don't because leap can get you can get you into trouble I've I've learned that. Once upon a time I told people to open up with leap, but I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. Whirlwind, self-explanatory. It's that crazy spinning top move you guys see the berserker using all the time. And then of course we have crippling crippling blow. 
inflict 185 damage to the enemy in total and stuns them for two seconds. Crippling Blow, yes, it's a stun move. But Crippling Blow should always be thrown in there to your rotation. And I'm going to tell you why. It's just simple. I don't care what nobody says. Crippling Blow is a hard hitting move. I have critted this thing up to like a couple million damage. Crippling Blow hits hard, especially when you got your buffs on. Always throw that throw that in your rotation. I don't know what it is. I don't know if that move has better crit chance. It's not named what if, but Crippling Blow hurts. You will see some HP drop on a hard boss if you use Crippling Blow. I, I, I promise you. I promise you that. Um, Carnage helps restore your rage. It's basically the Berserker's finisher. The, um, this uh, inflicts fatal damage to the opponent. You guys know about the finishers. Experienced Fighter, this is just a buff you get. Basic attacks. Activation speed is now increased by 15%. Damage of basic attacks is increased by 42%. Fracture inflicts 300% more damage to, to shields. So, for those who don't know, Berserker is a beast at killing shields. That's one thing it specializes in. That skull is going to be its, its number one thing it's good at. But what a lot of people don't realize is it's also very good at burst and AoE damage. I'm going to give you guys an example here. So, at the bottom left-hand corner where you guys see 250 out of 500... That's your rage. Your berserker is going to work similar to your typical death knight or dark knight class just as a DPS. Your goal, just like all typical um, death knight, dark knight, warrior style classes is you want to do the most damage and keep your buffs up at all times while keeping your rage, aka MP, whatever you'd like to call it, up for, um, for example. Oh, great. And what this is a perfect example because we just happen to be in the middle of a quest line here where um, Flavius' silly, silly monsters are going to attack me. Not cool. But um, anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. And as you guys can see with that combo, all the buffs I got going on, going on down here, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. This class is a monster. So what I always do is I open up with the holding Y or holding triangle button, the, the wave attack. That their vulnerability is already increased, and as you guys can see, they're hurt. Then I buff up, and then depending on how big the mob is, I'll use either my spinning attack move, or I'll start with my basic um combo, the X X triangle or X X Y or square square triangle X X Y. Sorry, I'm trying to translate it for both PlayStation and Xbox players. Another interesting thing you guys want to do is right, if you hold left trigger or L two. And slam down Y, you'll do this AoE attack. Now, one thing about people is when you're in big mobs, a lot of people are going to tell you do not spam the little spin top move. That's false. If you're fighting a huge mob where you guys just want to get tons of AoE damage, yes, you want to spam it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you guys learn how to spam that properly while doing the most damage. Let's take these um these combat mechanoid knuckleheads over here, for example. So I'm going to hit them with my wave. That's going to debuff them. I'm going to turn this on. Then I'm going to start my spin attack move. Then I'm going to jump up and slam, slam down my left trigger and Y. And as you guys can see, if you look down there at my, at my um, rage meter, it gave me some rage back. What that tectonic blast move does is it actually restores rage for every single enemy hit meaning if you're in a mob filled with enemies and you're using that move multiple times in the middle of your rotation you're going to regain your rage so you can keep using your spin top to keep doing more and more damage and you just want to throw you want to keep throwing in you want to keep tossing in your um your buffs make sure you're doing the Make sure you're doing this, the wave slam and all and all that fun stuff. So basically, your opener, your opener with Berserker, should always look like this before you start your your combos and all and all that kind of stuff because you want to keep your rage built up as as much as possible. Slam down the waves. We got to give it a second to cool down here. Left trigger and X to you know turn yourself red, get yourself nice and fiery, and then start with whichever whichever combo you like. But make sure you're also using the moves that restore rage, whether it's the blasting, the blasting move, or whichever. Another good one that you also want to do is make sure you're hitting circle or B, because like I like I told you guys, just even though it's a stun attack, 
it does tons and I mean tons of damage it's really good it's really good for you know hardcore hard hitting critical shots and not to mention if your tanks having a hard time and taking too many hits that enemy stunned for a few seconds he has a bit to you know buff himself grab some healing orbs do whatever a berserker is a really 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 powerful class i think a lot of people underestimate it and um honestly i hope this guide really helps you guys gives you all some great tips and everything if y'all have any questions or even suggestions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and um i hope you all enjoyed the video but anyway guys y'all enjoyed this video smash that thumbs up button for me and i want to thank you all so much for watching it's your boy tenek127 and please don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video till next time peace out take care